Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Game Channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be unboxing this. It is my new Holy Stone HS720G drone. <laughs> So yes, I have this camera going on that you can see in front of me and we have this camera going on up here above so you can see actually me unboxing it and I'll just flick between the two there. Um, I have bought this second hand, I should just point out, so this might have been unboxed before. Uh, that is why when you see the top screen, it had my address on here which I've scribbled out and a few other things on here um, but it has just arrived in the post and I haven't seen it yet so I thought let's unbox it together we can have a little look at it together it is effectively brand new um, the guy I bought it off said he'd only flown it about three times so let's get to it I've got a pair of scissors here that's going to help us cut all of these little doodads on the side so we've got a couple of bits of sellotape holding this side on. I'm just guessing that is what we need to cut since you sellotape those up. There's one. I'll try not to damage the box too much. Um, oops, that is the last one there. So now this little bit should flick down. If I can actually get my finger in there. There we go. And we can uh, slide this out. And I'm just going to get rid of the box for now. We'll just put that over there to one side. And you end up with this. Uh, so I'll put it up to the top camera there so you can see it. Um, it is uh, a lovely little package that holds everything together. So everything you need for flying your drone is in here. I'll hold it up to the front camera as well so you can see the size of it. That's next to my face. My face is quite big though, so gives you an indication. But yeah, let's go ahead and unzip this. So it's actually really nice. It has these uh, lovely little packaging. The zips are like really high quality. Um, I can tell that this is quite a high quality drone. And here we go, inside. Now, if you buy one of these brand new, it might look a bit neater than this. I bought it second hand, so everything should be in here. But obviously, you know, it won't be in its sort of manufacturing packaging. Uh, so we do get an instruction guide. That tells you uh, how to fly the drone. It gives you some features. Uh, which I will go ahead and show you guys in a minute. So there is like a follow me function. You can do an orbit. Um, so you can actually set the drone to orbit a specific point and it will just basically circle around that. Um, it also has the follow me function. So you can uh, set it to just follow you and wherever you go, it will just stay at a certain distance. Uh, it gives you all the kind of um, height limits and distance limits, everything that you would expect in here. And of course, how to calibrate the drone as well. So we'll just put that to one side for now. So we have the main drone here itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that out. So this is the main drone. I'll hold it up to the front camera there. Um, so this is the, that is the back actually. Um, so it has this battery that slides out uh, somehow. I'll figure that out in a second. And then the propellers just sort of fold out. So I don't know if there's a specific way that you have to fold them out. I'll do the those ones first. It looks like it might work a bit easier. And fold that one. Oops, that was a bit stiff. And there we go, you can feel that they like lock into position. And uh, there we go, if I hold it up to the front camera, you can see that is the drone there. That is the front. Um, so we've got a little camera in here. And the reason it's called a HS720G, 
Um, they also make a HS720E. Uh, the G stands for gimbal. So this thing does actually have a gimbal on the camera. And those of you who are not in the media world, um, a gimbal is like a steady cam. It basically keeps the camera perfectly level um, when something's like shaking around. So when you're flying this drone around and it's a bit windy and it's shaking, the camera here will stay perfectly level so you get smooth footage, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, it does mean that it is slightly more expensive than if you get the E version, which does not have the gimbal. That is the camera on the front there. Um, it does have 90 degrees swivel left and right. And of course, you can tilt it up and down, I believe, 120 degrees. It does record in 4K. Um, you can have HD 60 frames a second or you can have 4, 4K in 30 frames a second. Um, so most likely I'll just be using the HD because I prefer the higher frame rate than the higher quality video. Um, but it's nice that you get the options for both. Uh, the drone itself is actually fairly heavy for a drone. Obviously this thing has to fly, don't forget. Um, so yeah, it's quite heavy. It has all of the little stickers still on it, um, on the arms here, which we can actually just go ahead and peel off. I'm going to do that now because... Um, I know what these do anyway. I know that we have to fold these out before we fly it. Actually, that's all of them off there anyway. Um, so we'll put the drone down. Just I'll just put it there for now. Um, we do get a spare battery, which looks like it may have been opened. Uh, so we do get a spare battery with it as well. So that's fantastic. You get a drone. Uh, you get, of course, you get a drone. You get a battery with the drone. Um, and I believe it's 30 minutes flight time. Um, but you get this extra spare battery here, which literally just slides out. So the old one slides out and then you get this spare one and that slides in. So basically once your 30 minutes are up, if you have this one charged and with you, you can just quickly slot it in and take off again and you have another 30 minutes. So yes, it only flies for 30 minutes, but with two batteries, you basically get an hour, which is pretty good, to be honest. It has a USB-C charging port on there. And in here, it won't come out because it's stuck right in the bottom. You do get a USB-C type charger with it. Um, so, I mean, most people have one of these anyway, but it is nice that you get it with the drone because sometimes you don't um certain products i've bought in the past has a charging point and you don't get a charger so then you have to go and spend extra so that's nice that you do get a charger for it uh, so yes we do get an extra battery so i'll just pop that back in there for now doesn't want to go back in of course and the final thing we have in here is the remote control so I'll lift this out and you do get this really helpful um, little sheet. I'll actually hold it up to the front camera because I think it's a little bit clearer. Um, you get this sheet that sort of overlays on top of all the buttons and it tells you what each of them do, which is super useful because um, obviously every controller is slightly different. The way that most drones fly are very similar. So obviously the little toggles will be sort of fairly self-explanatory um but some of the buttons might be different so if i actually just go ahead and lift that off um i'll show you it without the cover on there so you do get an lcd display that displays some information like the battery charger of the remote and also for the drone um it tells you if you're in a specific mode so if you're in the follow me mode or something like that which is great um you can also um, attach your phone to this. So these little bits just fold up like that. And then in the middle bit here, this bit does lift up. So hold it to the front camera. This bit lifts up and you can just uh, sit your phone on there. Now, the only bad part of this is my phone is too big to fit in there. So I have a, an iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max and it is too big to fit in there so warning that if you do have a big phone it might not fit in there 
Um, on the controller itself, you do also get these little handles that fold down just like this. So you can actually like hold it really nice. Um, it's It feels just like sort of an Xbox controller or a console controller, which is great. On the front here, you might have noticed this little button just here. Uh, that is a, an automatic takeoff and landing feature. So this is something that I struggled with. I've had a drone in the past, um, albeit not a very expensive good one. Um, but taking off, obviously easy, you just sort of lift off. But landing can be quite difficult sometimes, especially if you're a bit of an inexperienced pilot like myself. So this is really useful because when you get near to the ground, you can press that button, the drone will sort of scan the ground area beneath you and it will just land on its own. It makes sure that every time you land the drone, it lands safely. So even for experienced pilots, I think that's a super useful feature because it just takes the stress out of having to land it manually. You can just press the button and it will do it for you. So yeah, that is a little bit of a look at the drone itself. Um, the controller, we got a spare battery with it. I'll just have a look in here. I don't think there's anything like useful in here. You do get a little screwdriver with it and um, you get another charger, which is great. And then in here, you do get a couple of spare propellers, I believe. So there's a couple of spare propellers and there was something else spare in there, but I can't remember. So I'm just gonna leave those in there. And that is what the screwdriver is for. So you can see these propellers we have on here. Um, they have tiny, tiny little screws holding each propeller on. So you need a tiny, tiny little screwdriver to undo those screws. So that is really cool. You get, um, I think two spare propellers so that basically you can fix one side of the drone, one corner of the drone. You can buy more from Holy Stone online. So if you damage more than one propeller, then you can buy spare ones. It's got brushless motors in it as well. But let's actually take the thing outside. Um, I'll show you how to set it up, how to calibrate it and everything like that. And we'll actually have a little bit of a fly with it. Okay, so we're outside. Uh, this is my yard at home, my sister's car, my car. And we've got the drone here, as you've just seen it in the video. Um, so it's still unfolded. So first thing to do is make sure that all of the arms are properly unfolded. You'll feel the sort of click in uh, once they are unfolded. And of course, don't forget to take the cover off your camera. So on the back of the drone, the battery has a button, hold that down and those will light up. And you can hear, I don't know whether you heard that, there was a beep from the controller to say that the two devices have connected. So and now what you need to do is spin the drone around 365 degrees three times, perfectly flat. You don't have to be perfectly flat, but as flat as possible. So this is for the calibration of the drone. Okay, so I have now calibrated the drone. It was being a bit of a pain, um, but once it is calibrated, it should look like this. It should have solid green. That means it's fully calibrated. These three dots are your battery charge. So um, it does need a little bit of charge, but you know, three, three uh, dots out of four, four should be enough there. Uh, so the next thing to do is actually connect whatever device you want to your drone. So I'm gonna be connecting my iPad to my drone so I can actually get a first person view and see where I'm flying. Okay, so I've got my iPad here. Now, normally you connect it to your phone, but I'm using my phone to record. And also, as I explained earlier, my phone is actually too big to fit in the um, controller sort of little port area. So I thought I'll use my iPad. I've got a nice big image there and then I can see what I'm doing. So I'm screen recording my iPad so you can see um, the app. So you want to download this Ophelia Fly app. Actually, I'll stand a little bit to the side and then I can put the video here. Um, so once you open it, it will ask you to sign in for the first time. 
I've already done that. Uh, so then you just want to enter device. So we enter the device. Um, and then what you need to do, actually I'm meant to do this first, if we go to settings and we go to Wi-Fi, um, if you wait here for a moment, it should pop up with the drone. There we go, Holy Stone GIM. So click on that. That is the Wi-Fi that your drone will um, emit. And there we go, ignore that it says no connection. It does have connection. Uh, and then you can go back to your Ophelia Fly app and there you go. You can see that we have um, the feed from the drone. If I actually pick up the drone, you'll see, there we go. That's me filming. That's my little phone on a stick there. Um, so the app is really neat. There are loads of little features on here. You can actually fly it from the app um, if you don't want to use the controller itself. Um, so it has all of the same features as the drone on here. You can switch on the sort of right hand side of the screen to video and camera, which is really cool. If you go into this toggle section here, um, you can actually adjust all the camera settings. So you can um, bring the brightness up and down. You can increase saturation. Um, you can actually adjust all the ISO and the white balance. I'm just going to leave them all on default, which is automatic. But those of you who know what you're doing with cameras, you can actually go ahead and adjust all of that. And of course, you'll get a live feed from here when you're flying it. So I've got my sister here. She's going to sort of film me flying the drone so you can get a bit of an idea. Okay, so uh, I've got my setup here. <laughs> Not very professional. I've got two pink chairs and the iPad sat there. We've got the live feed from the iPad, which you just saw. Um, we've got the drone just down here. Uh, so what you need to do first is hit this little lock button on the controller. So if you hit that, you'll see that the drone will spool up. Uh, so the propellers on there will start spinning. From there, either on the iPad, I'm actually going to set this off recording so we can actually have a little look. Yeah, they only stay on for about 10 seconds. Um, so unlock the rotors, either on your phone or tablet or whatever, or on the controller, hit the takeoff and landing button, and the drone will fly up. And there we go. You can see my sister actually filming it there. There she is. And then we can actually take it up and down. It's a little bit slower going down. Tip it left and right, forward and backwards. And then when you're ready to land it, you can just hit the land button. So I'll go ahead and do that. It will scan the area beneath and it's saying that it's actually clear. And it will go ahead and land itself and there we go that was sort of an initial little flight there we can turn off the um, recording on there uh, if you want to go ahead and take off again you will have to unlock the rotors again so there we go it's unlock the rotors and then you can just take off again so that is the first little fly with my holy stone hs 720g drone um, it's a fantastic little drone brand new they cost about 300 pounds so it's not the cheapest drone but it does record in 4k it does record in 60 frames a second which i think is great i'm going to use this drone to do a lot of recording for you guys on youtube to make more videos so hopefully we'll have some really nice drone cinematic shots coming up in future videos but that's going to do it for today thank you all so much for watching hope you did enjoy if you did smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you all next time